Hi, I'm Darren Purchase, pastry chef and owner of Birch and Purchase Sweet Studio in Melbourne. And today I'm going to show you how to make an espresso caramelito affogato. First step, we're going to take some whole milk and we're going to place it into a saucepan. We've then got some thick cream and we're also going to place that into the saucepan along with some scraped vanilla seeds. I'm just going to bring it to the boil and leave it to infuse for about 20 minutes. Next stage, I'm going to take some egg yolks, some whole egg yolks and some sugar and I'm going to place them into a mixing bowl. I'm just going to give them a whisk and get this nice and frothy for the vanilla ice cream. Now the cream in the milk along with the vanilla pod have just come to the boil and we're just going to add that liquid to our previously beaten egg yolks and sugar. We're going to return all of this mix into a clean saucepan and we're going to cook it out over a low heat. We want to make a nice custard base. So I'm going to take this custard base out and I'm going to pass it through a fine sieve. This is going to go into a fridge and we're going to cool this down quickly. And once it's cool, we're going to place it into an ice cream churner. We're going to make some lovely vanilla ice cream. If you don't have an um, ice cream churner at home, you can use store-bought ice cream for this dish. The next step is a salted coffee crumble. We're actually going to be using some of the ground coffee beans that are found inside the Nespresso Caramelito pods. Um, we're going to take some caster sugar. We're going to place it into a mixing bowl. We've got some ground almonds here, and that goes in as well, along with some plain flour, some cocoa powder, and just a pinch of salt. Next, we're going to add the coffee. We're actually going to be using some of the ground coffee beans that are found inside the Nespresso Caramelito. We're going to add it to the crumble mix, and we're just going to give it a little mix before adding the cold melted butter. And you've got this textural, salty, caramel flavoured coffee crumb. Just put that onto the tray now. Spread it out evenly, make sure it cooks evenly. I'm just going to put it into the oven now for 20 minutes. Okay, so the crumb is now in the oven, and while it's in there, we're going to make the caramel sauce. I've got cream in one saucepan, and I'm just going to bring it to the boil. In the other saucepan, I'm going to get it nice and hot. So I'm now going to add caster sugar into the hot saucepan, and using a wooden spoon, I'm going to stir it until it dissolves and starts to turn a deep golden amber caramel colour. I'm going to do it in stages. Now the sugar's melting nicely here. I'm going to add the second third of sugar. And this is the stage where it starts to melt quite quickly now because there's a lot of heat in that pan. It's almost ready to add in the last third, which I'm going to do now. And it's going to be taken to a new level when we add the cream and the butter. Okay, careful now. I'm going to add the cream. It's expanding furiously and the steam is really hot as well. So make sure you use a wooden spoon with a long handle. Simmer it for about 30 seconds. Okay, remove from the heat. Just got a pinch of salt here and it just lifts it. Next, I have some softened butter. We're going to add that to the caramel. One knob at a time and whisk it in. And we're just going to leave that to sit until assembly. The crumble smells great. And I'm going to get some caramel that we made earlier. And I'm just going to put some of this beautiful caramel into the bottom of the glass. It's lovely and sticky. I'm going to scoop some of this ice cream into each cup. And we're going to make a caramelito shot next. It smells great. Really get that caramel flavour as well. Coffee crumble, we're just going to put over the top just to add another layer of texture. So we've got contrast in temperature and texture. Now, if you haven't already, join my team, Caramel. Caramel's amazing. It tastes so good and it's so versatile in everything.